แหลนทองมีสิริครับฮัลโหลเลดี้ทุกท่านขอต้อนรับเข้าสู่ LWC Super Champ ไปต่อกันที่ our Super Fight and Fight Number Three it's Thailand taking on China 128 pounds in the blue corner we've got Xiao Long He is 20 years old, 168 centimeters tall, 11 fights in his record, nine victories, two defeats. He trains out of Fairtex Training Center in Pattaya, which is in Chonburi Province in the east of Thailand, and he's representing China. And now introducing his opponent. There on your screens, fighting out of the red corner, he goes by the name of Burk Ban. Luk Mung Pit, 27 years of age, 131 centimeters tall, has a total of 85 fights, 55 victories, 27 losses, and three draws. Currently trading out of Luk Luk Mung Pet Jim, and he is from Nakhon Ratchasima Province in the northeastern part of Thailand. So we've had someone from Nakhon Si Tamrat and now Nakhon Ratchasima. Two different places, Ali. Completely two different places, and yet even people here get confused between the two. Yeah, but they produce some incredibly good fighters, though. I mean Nakhon Ratchasima. You just think of the likes of Compet, Fairtex. Uh, there's so many. I mean, my mind's gone blank. But also Nakon C. Tamarat. I mean, the one fighter that everybody should know from there, Sexan. And of course, legendary Ole Get One Way. Yeah. Ole, who's actually a coach at Par Paranchai, which is one of the best gyms in the province of Nakon C. Tamarat. That's you, right. You've also got Petsi Mung as well. Petsi Mung. Produces a f uh, still produce a few good fighters from there. Yeah, had one fighting here last night, actually. Tung Song Muay Thai, too. It's quite a smaller gym, though. Nail Air Tassalat. Yep. Oh, yep. And then there's the, a whole list of them. The, <laughs> gym, the gym that Hercules is from, too. Is that Wat Petsy Moon as well? Yeah, uh, that's right. Same gym. Okay. Wat Jagger Road, Petsy Moon. So, yeah, there's a lot. In, in the south of Thailand, would you would you agree that it's more Surat Thani and Nakon, Nakon Sitamarat that produce the majority of the good fighters? Yeah, you could definitely say produce, but, I mean, you've got so many hubs down south too. I mean, in Koh Samui, and you've got it there in Phuket as well, where there's so many stadiums. I mean, a great place for both Thais and non-Thais to actually make a start to their careers. Yeah, no, couldn't agree more. Here we go. Round one underway. And it's all about making it here to Bangkok City, Thailand, especially here in Lumpini Boxing Stadium. I mean, you can't say Lumpini Boxing Stadium. You can't say Muay Thai without thinking about Lumpini Boxing Stadium. And one last input. If you haven't been to Lumpini Stadium here in Thailand, you haven't been to Thailand. Yeah, you must definitely come and check out the fights here. We have shows on every week. I mean, as fun as it is on TV, it's a lot more fun to be here, seeing the action up close. Speaking of the action, so far, so so far in this round, it's been anything you can do, I can do better. Both fighters wasting no time to get to know each other. This is a good look in the clinch here from Burke Ban. Yeah, it's almost like they're fighting in front of a mirror. Yes. Always trying to do the exact same thing the other one is doing. See how long. Good heavy hands, good combinations. And we all know about the heavy hand fighting down at Fairtex Training Center in Pattaya. We'll see along won his last fight by knockout against Mumbak Mumbak Lek. That's right, Mumbak Lek. That's on the morning shows here in Lumpini Boxing Stadium. Ken really pushing forward now. See along. Yeah, but he's really trying to land that hook. At times, he'll have a good reserved approach by using his straight punches to work his way in, or even the low kick. But then he just gets frustrated and tries to lunge in with these big left hooks to the head or to the body. And they're so easy to telegraph, though, because he really pulls his elbow back in order to throw that hook. But I'm nevertheless, good low kick, though, by Seo Long. Yeah, 100%. I mean, if they land, they land. But it, like you said, it's telegraphed very easily. And Burt Band's a, a very experienced fighter. But we've seen this time and time again. I mean, someone comes out swinging with a lot of pressure. And then by the second round, they get extremely tired. And it can happen to Seo Long. You've got to wonder what sort of engine does this man have. It's a good right hand there from Bergman. Bergman often known as a heavy-handed puncher, but so far getting really pressured by Seo Long. Seo Long looking frustrated. Looks like Bergman's just trying to line up a counter punch as soon as Seo Long comes forward. See, like right there, wanted to go for the right hand after the left hook. 
I don't think Seo Long is getting frustrated and a good elbow there from Bokban that Seo Long getting frustrated that his opponent doesn't want to exchange punches there, doesn't want to trade blows. Good head kick there from Bokban. Still fighting on the back foot, making Seo Long miss this time. Good knee up the middle here from Bokban. This is where he really wants to do his work in the clinch against an aggressive puncher like Seo Long. Again, good job there from Bugban. Really controlling the distance at the moment, and that is the end of the first round. Bukban there, you see on your screens he was being pressured quite a lot by this man right here, Seo Long, from China. But as the match went on, it seemed like Bukban was really formulating a game plan in his head. I mean, fair to say, Ali, the pressure got less and less as the round went on. Yeah, it did. But nonetheless, Seo Long was good on the front foot. As much as he was definitely very aggressive going head hunting a lot, but Burt Bam was way better off in the clinch. That's where he did do a lot of his damage, and with these body kicks too. Something tells me we'll see a very different second round. Yeah, I mean, normally first round you just want to test the waters, find what shots are working for you, and work off of that. Yeah, it tends to be though, the TIE fighters are doing the testing of the waters. Seo Long, on the other hand, had a very different game plan. Wanted that knockout early on. Definitely, though, giving the neutrals something to look forward to here in the second. All right, here we go. Round two is coming up. Don't go anywhere, though, because we have the third place coming up for the Global House Grand Prix tournament in our next bout, which you don't want to miss. And here we go. More of the same now from Seo Long. A lot of offense from the Chinese fighter. Head kick from Seo Long. And Seo Long not bothered by the punches from Bergban. But Bergban very happy to counter on the back foot. Good evasion there from Bergban. Again with the head kick. Bergban now in the corner but not stuck. Manages to find a way out. Bergban right hand, left uppercut there. Really trying to have the fight on the back, back foot at the moment, Burt Ban just trying to bait Show Long into his own counters and then time up in the clinch. Quite a risky strategy if you ask me, because Show Long does pack some power in his punches and you don't want to get trapped on the ropes. Yeah, he really does, but you can see here that Burt Ban, he is trying to circle away from Seo Long. Seo Long has a very strong lead punch. Dead. Jab straight down the middle from Bergban. But this time gets caught from Seo Long. And a kick to the body and a return by Seo Long. The style that we're seeing from Seo Long is a style that no matter if you win or lose, you get to come back again and again and again. Yeah, it's a very aggressive style, crowd-pleasing one as well. He's just hunting for the knockout, wants to make the fight a, a brawl with his punching combinations. Oof, another big left hand to the midsection by Seo Long. Low kick. But I really like how he's attacking all parts of the body. He's going to the head, he's going to the body, and he's going to the legs. Swinging and missing there, Seo Long. But definitely been driving this round so far on the front foot with his attacks, especially these left hooks to the head and to the body. And again, that combination punching. And now Bergban. Bogban, excuse me, trying to make a comeback. And there we go, on the inside where he has looked good in the match. He looked good there in the first round. We haven't seen it in the second just yet. Had a glimpse of it just now, but still on the back foot. I really think he needs to start pushing forward. He needs to start putting his combinations together. Just happy to counter on the back foot, but maybe that's not the best strategy. No, I mean, when they get told in the rules meeting, you need to make sure that you 
Don't go backwards too much. If anything, you step laterally to your left or to your right. Otherwise, you're going to lose points if the fight's close. Elbow attempt from Bergbahn missing, but still on the back foot. Bergbahn has a lot of reach though, but just not enough quantity to go with it. Not much output at all, and again, the shot to the body by Seo Long. Seo Long this time missing with the kick, and that ends the second round. I mean, Bogban may be accurate with some of his shots, but just not enough output for my personal liking. See along though, I love the pressure going forward, dishing out punishment to the head, to the body, to the legs. I mean, it's going to be hard to argue against any case for Bogban winning that round. I think Seo Long took it. Yeah, I got to agree. We both know that Bogban's the better clincher of the two. I I, I have a feeling he's just conserving his energy so he doesn't gas out and going to probably try and steal this fight in round three. We see it happen all the time, don't we, Kevin? Yeah, we do. We but really do. And it could be the case that he finally tries to push forward and tries to engage in the clinch and throw some knees. I mean, maybe too little, too late. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just waiting on the back foot this long to land counters and to try and just get into the clinch just doesn't, it's not a good, not a good move. But we've seen him push forward. And he has to start doing it now. Just quickly wiping off some water there. Additional water from the corner man. Yeah, I was just about to say, did he have a shower during the break? Yeah, right. <laughs> final instructions from the referee to begin the third and final round. And already a body shot from Seo Long. And now this time, Burkban pushing forward. What an elbow from the tie, but he receives a kick to the midsection. We did say during the break that he had to start moving forward. A good hook from Bogban. Where was this Bogban in the first and second rounds, Ali? See, this is the thing, using his experience, just trying to win the final round. Is it, like we keep saying though, Kevin, is it too little, too late? That was a good clinch exchange for a Bogban as well. We need to see more of that in this round for him to convincingly win this fight. That's right, it could be too little, too late, but he really needs to get on with it now. He needs to start pushing forward, needs to start attacking, just exchange blows with Seo Long. Doesn't matter now if he gets caught or not. Which is what he's been doing so far in the last couple of exchanges. Good clinch lock here. Seo Long is really caught in a straight jacket. Burt Band just holding onto him for dear life and throwing the knees, straight knees up the middle. And you said it rightly, I mean, a straight jacket. I mean, he could have done that in the second and first round, but decided to leave it late until now. Really landing with his kicks. Good knee to the midsection and straight into the clinch once again. And this time getting the better of Seo Long. He's really going to start thinking twice about his performances in the first and second round because he has it in him to fight like this. Good low kick though from Seo Long. Going high this time, the Chinese fighter. But a low kick by Bergban. Bergban now has to attack and he does. Good kick from the tie. But then back to his old ways once again on the back foot. Jab there from Bertban. Yeah. Trying to go in and out at the moment. Overhand right lands for Shearlong. But here's the clinch from Bertban, which is what he really needs. I mean, Shearlong just can't fight back at all in the clinch. When you get into that position right there, you need to put your hands over the top and push them in the face of your opponent to create room and separation. But Shearlong just waited there for the referee to break it up bad move there yeah fair to say i mean so long he's more of a kickboxer more than a muay thai fighter nevertheless though he did get the job done in my opinion in the first and second 
but now getting wrestled to the ground by Bukban. Bukban once again on the back foot, receiving a left hook to the midsection, but counters back with a knee. Again, kick to the midsection by Bukban. Bukban happy to stay on the back foot. Good right hand from Bukban. Continuously playing Pasa, I mean, just dragging so long into making a mistake. Good body kicks there from Burt Ban. Sia Long though, sticking to his guns. Saw his left hook to the body. Elbow attempt there from Sia Long, but Burt Ban ties him up quickly into the clinch. Oh, that was, that, that's gonna score big for Burt Ban. He was in absolute control, and that is the end of the third round. Now, Ali, the question is, did he steal that round right there? I think if you've got to give any round to Burt Ban, it, has to, it could be round three. But i got to agree with what you said earlier. I think Shia Long just fought the better fight. The majority of the fight, really, he's got to go for Shia Long. But every round here is scored individually, so let's see. So now the question is, how did the judges score the first two rounds? Take a look at some of the replay. A lot of good shots landing for Bugban in that third round. Then you had that elbow attempt there, but then the clinch right across the neck and the knees to the midsection. Now let's go to our MC for the official decision. เรียบร้อยครบ The winner by unanimous decisions Red ยินดีด้วยครับผู้ชนะครับเบิกบอลลูกเหมือนเพชรครับเป็นฝ่ายเอาชนะเซียวหลงจากจีนไปแบบเอกฉันนั่นเองนะครับนี่คือความมันของคร